I don't understand how you're going to negotiate uh, with somebody without a, 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 a thing that is properly defined. Here, uh, what, what we ha are dealing with is that an American basically, uh, basically raised a whole bunch of demand that is completely, in my view, over the top, difficult to define, and impossible to quantify. I'm quite certain that we'll be able to solve any problem issues between us because the long-term common interest is just there, it's so clear. There's no alternative to that. We are the two largest economies in the world and we are both permanent members of the UN Security Council. And we have great responsibilities, not only to our own country but also to the world. And we do have increasing mutual needs and common interests. So all this determines that cooperation is the only option, is the only right choice we should make. The United States has done this repeatedly uh, for the purpose of reducing trade barriers. Many people in the United States, including myself and my friends, um, want more trade, not less. I think it's terrible. It's the dumbest thing that we could possibly do. And the economics are that everybody will be hurt by this around the world, not just our two countries. It's a very short-sighted, narrow approach. Folks are really worried about uh, if these policies continue either in place or at least not changed or altered or amended in some way, uh, could South Carolina even handle that many jobs lost and that effect on our economy? Midterms coming up soon, uh, a move that could get people their jobs back uh, is more likely to bring some voters uh, to that side.